Hello! Today, uh, this is actually a redstone tutorial, first one. It's not my own, it is a fix. Well, the fix is my own. Uh, we are looking at the original Ethos Lab uh, hyperspawner. And you used to be able to put uh, mobs in it, mob spawners, um, spawning eggs. You'd have a fence post with a pressure plate on top. You'd click the button and they would keep spawning. However, that no longer works, and I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you know that. So, um, yes, the fix is a little bit bigger, but using things added in, I think it's 1.5, uh, we are looking at the comparator block, and of course I've just made a clock out of that, and added it on, and uh, it works. So if we just quickly flip the switch, you'll see that it, it really does work. Um, <laughs> Just go peaceful for a minute to get rid of them. So yes, it works, and it does have an on-off switch. However, it will automatically switch off when um, there's no more spawn eggs in there. So it's quite good, so it won't cause lag when it's not needed. Um, but you can have it turn on whenever you want. Now, for you people who notice that this is a switch and that's a button, you can make it with a button. And this looks a lot bigger, but uh, this can go anywhere. This is just a T flip flop. I've made the original T flip flop. Um, I don't know whether you know how to make this. Uh, I'll do a really quick tutorial just in case then. Um, you probably do though, or you'll have your own version. Most people do. But uh, basically, it's just this, this, redstone torch, redstone torch, block for the input, redstone down there, and the output is there. And then whenever this gets a pulse, the block will switch places, turning on the output. So um, that's the T flip flop I've used. But you can use whatever you want. So this can go right next to the button, or you can have it hidden along the journey. It doesn't have to go right next to it, but uh, that will make it so it works as a button as well. But uh, this one I haven't actually put any spawn eggs in. But yeah, that'll do exactly the same. So uh, yes, we'll get on to the tutorial of how to make this, even though you can probably see how it's done, but just in case. You need um, four dispensers, eight redstone, one lever, or button if you're doing that one, um, one redstone torch, one comparator, and one repeater. So it's quite cheap, really, um, which is good. You know, it doesn't really matter, because if you're going to be making this, it's going to be in creative, because you can't get spawn eggs in survival. Um, yeah, so I've just got the basic layout, just place down four blocks like this. Four of those. Five of those. Cover the top in redstone. Come down the other side. Put one behind that. And put redstone on it, one in front of it. With the torch. Block a comparator and make sure you click it once. Hmm, that's an interesting glitch. Um, click it once, and then bring these out like that. You need a repeater, redstone set like that, and then here, actually you can make that block, sorry, if you want to make it cheaper. Uh, here is your, just get rid of that, place it with a lever. Here is your cancel button, and then if you just fill up these, so you always make sure you've got some in this one though. This one has to be the same as all the other ones. Of course, you don't have to fill them up. If you're only going to fill up one though, make sure it's this one. Because this is the one it reads for how many to dispense. And then that's it. It should work from there. Uh, yes, uh, we seem to have discovered a glitch. If you place down a repeater, I mean not a repeater, a comparator on uh, one click going into a torch from a dispenser, it will activate another one. So there you go, we may have just discovered wireless redstone. Have we? Hmm. Let's see if I can do it again now. Oh well. There you go, if you can figure out how that glitch works, you have some form of weird wireless redstone. So have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope this helps. Bye!